what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we'll be talking about the scream 5 trailer that just dropped today a breathtaking trailer is all i have to say that was absolutely amazing i thought it was a very good change of scenery in the sense of that you can tell that the mood here is a lot more grim a lot more dark a lot more intense at least that's the vibe that this trailer gave off i like how they hid and they're not overly showing that meta humor you can save that for the film save all the humor and the last for the movie this looks very intense i was glued from start to finish we got another very exciting shot of ghostface here during that opening sequence that we saw from the trailer that we can only assume will also be the opening sequence of the actual film itself with Jenna Ortega in her role as Tara Carpenter. We know that's the younger sister of our new final girl, Sam Carpenter. And the seem the seemingly just obvious Drew Barrymore, Casey Becker parallels, that was something that I instantly just grinning ear to ear there. I just couldn't take my, my eyes, off, eyes off this trailer. It's very much so clear as day that this is not Wes Craven. And I, I like that because it's also at the same time, while it's not Wes Craven, this tone and this vibe, I know this is something Something that a lot of people have been wanting to see from the Scream franchise. A more, a more darker, grittier, more ruthless, brutal ghost face with just the same vibe of all the other components that you love about Scream. Just, just changing one thing up a bit. And, you know, the directors, they look like they're bringing their own, their own style to the table. They're not trying to be overly imitating of Wes. They're doing their own thing and just paying respect to him. The trailer in and of itself, I thought, again, was breathtaking. We had a lot of cool sequences showing us the new characters interacting with each other. Some people would say they showed too much. I would just argue that there's a lot of stuff that I feel like was a misdirect, such as the fact of Jenna Ortega blatantly being shown, seemingly getting killed, only for you to then, as the audience, go to that assumption. Remember, Scream likes to subvert expectations. It's going to subvert your expectation when you sit down and watch this movie, and she actually is the first ever opening attack to to not get killed making franchise history right there the interaction between sydney and dewey on the phone was very nice a little big brother moment hey do you have a gun she gave the appropriate response i'm sydney prescott of course i have a gun <laughs> we also got an official synopsis here 25 years after a streak of brutal murders shocked the quiet town of woodsboro a new killer has donned the ghost face mask and begins targeting a group of teenagers to resurrect secrets from the town's deadly past nev campbell courtney cox and david arquette return to their iconic roles and scream alongside melissa barrero cal gallner Mason Gooding, Mikey Madison, Dylan Minnette, Jenna Ortega, Jack Quay, Marley Sheldon, Jasmine Savoy Brown, and Sonia Amar. Again, this this synopsis here is clearly making it is making it very clear that the original film will be of great significance, and there's some other secrets that will be uncovered as it relates to the original Woodsboro killing spree. I would I would I would assume not anything related to Marine Prescott. We're done with her. <laughs> so my only bet would be we are going to have again a lot of misdirects because there's a line of a bit of dialogue given by melissa barrera's character of sam carpenter where she says hey you know these killings they the killings that have been happening they're all they've all been attacks of relatives of the original original killers so it looks like what that implies of course would be what, what it actually is that she's saying rather relatives of billy loomis and Stu mocker are being attacked now what this could imply to a lot of people would be that maybe whoever ghost faces now is a relative of one of the previous victims from the original killing spree going after the relatives of the actual killers that took their loved ones away from them and they're also now taking it out on the town of woodsboro again that's something that i feel could be just a blatant seed planted in your head to misdirect you and it's not going to be that at all there's something bigger going on here it can't be that easy obviously i do want to talk about kyle gallner's character vince that was shown with this official still that came out yesterday with the other ones now i've seen people talk about maybe he is the relative of billy loomis but the one i see that more so than this idea what if he's actually the 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 uh, relative of Stu mocker what if he's a mocker relative in some capacity and i don't think he'll have a big type of um he's not, he's barely shown in the trailer i feel like he's going to be very insignificant by the end of it he'd probably be somebody that's like a throwaway character but i i would think it would be a very cool thing if he were to be related to someone other than billy loomis because that's the obvious choice for a lot of people because they think that he's the killer also so don't make him related to loomis i guess but this trailer did everything it was supposed to do it was very very much getting you in the right mood the interactions that we have between the og trio not to say they all shared a scene together or something but there's one instance in particular that i loved where the trailer 
the way it's edited, you have Dewey walking down one end of the hall and Ghostface walking down another end of the hall. And we have like commentary going on while they're, while these two are being shown seemingly going towards the center for what we can only assume looks like a confrontation they're going to have because Dewey is, is shown going at it with Ghostface in the trailer. And the look of David Arquette's uh, Dewey this time around, the way he is being shown off, you actually are... I find myself taking the character a bit more serious now and I feel that when he goes up against Ghostface he's going in with an intent to actually cause some damage whereas before with Dewey as lovable as the character is you know he's been this this goof honestly that this 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 lovable goof but this stuff that he's been through this hardship that he's had to endure has hardened him as a man he has a, a very more rugged look to him he's a lot more just he seems very more serious and he's not wanting to play around and while his brotherly his brotherly comments towards Sydney might show off the glimpse glimpses of the older Dewey I feel like that older Dewey is not the Dewey we'll be getting this time around he'll have shades of it but we'll see that the past 10 years has been kind of rough on him and he's kind of changed a lot more drastically compared to the other two characters that we know and love Gail and Sydney Gail of course as we have been told ha has her own show now and she's back on her bs <laughs> sydney seems to be seemingly living away peacefully from woodsboro with her own family there is a ring shown in the image i think the image came up on the screen earlier where if you look at that image you go back to the beginning of the video the image of her holding the gun she ha seems to have a ring on so that's a confirmation i would say that she's married uh and I hope she's happily married. We also have been told that she supposedly has kids. So hopefully everything is going fine with her in her personal life. This trailer overall just was something that got me very excited to see. There's a lot of, again, blatant misdirects I feel that are going on here. Some people will watch this and think that they're going to have a relative of a previous victim now going after the town of Woodsboro now when it can't be that easy. Something bigger here is going on. Jen Ortega is not going to die in the opening. A lot of this stuff that you're seeing is not them getting killed. They're probably going to end up living. Very exciting trailer. Can't wait to see this movie when it comes out. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and then there's a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.